Hello everyone, myself Chandrasekhar welcoming you all to this wonderful daily dose series for civil and mechanical engineer. As you guys are all aware that in this series we bring an important concept and try to make it simple, easier and interesting for you to understand. So in today's session, I will be going to discuss one of the important and most confusing concept of the fluid mechanics. The concept is fluid acceleration. So, so many students have difficulty in understanding the fluid acceleration. So we will try to make the understanding simple and we will discuss everything about the fluid acceleration through a numerical problem. All right. So as you all are aware that whenever there is a change in velocity of the fluid, there is an acceleration developed and the velocity change can take place with respect to time or there can be a change in velocity with respect to space also. So whenever the velocity changes with the time, then it develops the local or temporal acceleration. So the local acceleration is developed due to change in velocity of the fluid with time. So whenever the flow is unsteady, when the velocity changes with time, then there is always a local or temporal acceleration in the fluid. And the other acceleration is developed when there is a change in velocity with the space. So due to change in velocity of the fluid with the space, it develops the convective or advective acceleration. So this acceleration is developed for non-uniform flow. Non-uniform flow means whenever the velocity of the fluid varies with space. So the total acceleration of the fluid is algebraic sum of local and convective acceleration. All right. So we will discuss this concept through a question. But before I start, this is my quick introduction. I have done my graduation from IIT Delhi in mechanical engineering and from last 10 plus years, I am completely into teaching, guiding the students who are preparing for various competitive examination. So let us try to solve one question and let us try to understand the details of local acceleration as well as the convective acceleration. All right. So the question is there on your screen. It says there is a two meter long conical diffuser having the diameter as 20 centimeter at upstream end and it is having the diameter 80 centimeter at the downstream end. At a particular instant, the discharge through the diffuser is 200 liter per second of water and it is found to increase uniformly with the rate of 50 liter per second per second. That is the rate of increase of discharge. We need to find out the local convective as well as the total acceleration at a distance 1.5 meter from the upstream end. So can we say the fluid is unsteady? Why? Because Q varies with time. That is unsteady flow. Because the velocity varies with time, because the area cannot change with time. So that is why the flow is unsteady. And because it is a diffuser, area is continuously increasing. So the flow is non-uniform also. So that is why, because the flow is unsteady, local acceleration will be developed. And for non-uniform flow, I have already told you, the convective acceleration will also be developed at any location. So first of all, try to understand the variation of diameter in x direction. This is x is equal to 0, that is the inlet, and x is equal to L, the length is 2 meter, and diameter is D1, and the diameter at the exit is D2. So if we want to find out the excel expression for acceleration at any distance x from the inlet, this is x. This is the section and the diameter is taken as let us say dx. So how to find, first of all, try to find out the diameter dx, expression for diameter dx. 
if we draw a horizontal line so can we say this will be d2 minus d1 by 2 and this distance will be dx minus d1 by 2 so from the concept of similar triangle the smaller triangle and the bigger triangle are similar to each other from the concept of similar triangles we can say dx minus d1 by 2 upon d2 minus d1 by 2 is equal to the base for the smaller triangle is x and the base for the bigger triangle is l if you simplify this then we will get dx is equal to d1 plus d2 minus d1 by 2 d1 minus d d2 minus d1 by l into x this is the expression if you put the value of d1 d1 is 20 centimeter so dx is equal to 0 0.2 plus 0 0.8 minus 0 0.2 upon 2 length is 2 into x so the diameter at any x is 0 0.2 plus 0.3 x and the area at a location x will be equal to because it is circular so pi by 4 dx square isn't it so this is how first of all we can find out the expression for the diameter at any location x now we are ready to develop the expression for local and convective acceleration at any location x so the local acceleration is given by the change in velocity with time and vx can be written as at any x we can say the discharge is equal to area at any x into vx so vx can be written as del by del t vx is q by ax as i told you that area is independent of time so the local acceleration is equal to 1 upon ax into del q by del t the rate of change of discharge is already given so we can say ax local is equal to 1 upon pi by 4 dx square into del q by del t so the final expression for local acceleration will be ax local will be equal to 4 upon pi 0 0.2 plus 0 0.3 x square into what is del q by del 2 50 liter per second per second so 0 0.05 this is the ex expression at x is equal to 1.5 meter what is the ex ex uh, local acceleration so it is 4 into 0 0.05 divided by pi into 0 0.2 plus 0 0.3 into 1.5 square so if you simplify this then you will get the value as 0 0.1507 meter per second square that is the magnitude of local acceleration at x is equal to 1.5 meter from the steam end this is the general expression similarly let us find out the low convective acceleration at any x convective acceleration is given by vx into del vx by del x the change in velocity with the space gives the convective acceleration so vx can be written as q by ax into del by del x then it will be q by ax q can be taken outside so it will be q square upon ax into del by del x into 1 upon pi by 4 dx square isn't it and this ax can also be written as This ax can also be written as pi by 4 dx square. So expression will be q square. It will be pi by 4. So it is 4 upon pi square into q square upon dx square into del by del x into 1 upon dx square. Right? So it will be 16 by pi square. So the convective acceleration at any x will be given by 16 q square upon pi square into dx square multiplied by del by del x and it will be 1 upon 0 0.2 plus 0 0.3 x square. You need to differentiate this expression. 
So 16 Q square upon pi into DX square multiplied by, then it will be minus two into 0 0.3 into 0 0.2 plus 0 0.3 X to the power minus three. This will be the expression. This is DX only. So it will be 16 Q square upon pi into dx to the power 5 multiplied by minus of 0 0.6. And if we put the values, then the final expression can be written as Q is given as 200 liter per second. So it will be convective acceleration expression is given by 16 into 0 0.2 square upon pi square into minus 0 0.6, isn't it? Pi square into 0 0.2 plus 0 0.3 x to the power 5. This is the expression. And if we want to find out the value at x is equal to 1.5 meter, then the convective acceleration is 16 into 0.2 square into minus 0 0.6 upon pi square into 0 0.2 plus 0 0.3 into 1.5 to the power 5. If you simplify this, then convective acceleration will be given by negative of 0 0.3352 meter per second. Why it is negative? Because in the flow direction, as x increases, area also increases. And if there is an increase in area, the velocity is decreasing. So there is a retardation. So that is why convective acceleration is negative, right? And the total acceleration of the fluid is equal to algebraic sum of local plus convective. And the local acceleration is 0 0.1507 plus it is minus 0 0.3352. So the total acceleration at x is equal to 1.5 meter. The total acceleration will come out to be minus 0 0.1845 meter per second square. That is how we can find out or we can understand the difference between the local and convective acceleration. All right. I hope it is clear to everyone. See you in the next such video. Till then, enjoy. Take care. Have a good day and a great future ahead.